February 28, 1997, 0700 hours. The North Hollywood Day Watch Patrol is just starting. In a few short hours, many of these officers' lives will be changed forever. In total, 11 officers and six civilians will be shot. 12 police cars will be destroyed. And the policies about the size of firearms carried in patrol cars would have to be rewritten at almost every police and sheriff department across the nation. I noticed one uh, gentleman there was shot uh, several times as he was holding his arm uh, bleeding. So we're like right, we're right fucking here. This guy's over here. I mean, that's less than 100 yards or about 100 yards, I think. He's wearing, he's wearing heavy uh, body armor, so he's been shot, I don't know how many times, but the heavy, heavy body armor, he's, he's not knocking down at all. From what I witnessed personally, you know, all they had was their nine millimeters, shotguns, and these guys are blowing off their automatic weapons. So, it, you know, the, the officers were just, they knew right off the bat in the first one or two minutes or less, they were totally outgunned. Oh, about 9.15 in the morning, give or take a few minutes, about nine officers pulled up in uh, three vehicles, three uh, police cars and some bikes. And, uh, we're in a panic mode. This whole street was filled up with police cars from every agency yeah, you could ever imagine. Right LA County Sheriff's here, Burbank was here, the school police was here, the airport police was here, uh, San Fernando police was here, you name it, every police department. And I okayed the plan of action, which was to loan them a number of weapons and fill a number of magazines with ammunition for them. So they knew they were superior. They knew they were, had way more firepower than the cops, so Sure, why not? They had no reason to be afraid. He was shooting at the officers across the street. His gun was shot out of his hand. Gun dropped picked his gun up, and then he took his own life. And that was the end of the story for this guy. We received some of the comments from citizens and news media talking about that we didn't provide medical attention right away to the gunman. But, you know, you have to look at, there was 13, 14 people that were shot at the scene. We didn't have that many ambulances available to us, and we were still trying to take care of the police officers and the citizens that were shot. And on top of that, we had no idea if there was a third or fourth suspect. We thought he was possibly in the area, so we're not going to endanger the lives of firemen uh, until we've got that area completely secured that no one's going to be hurt. So there's always two sides to a story on why things were done and why things weren't done. At least about 10 bullet holes hit our walls, went through that wall, hit the freezer, two glass freezer, like a shade. Passed through this glass and then went to that wall. Some 